G'day guys, Glenn VK4NJ in the Digital Shack. I just want to show you this radio. Um, I'm just going to give you a run through it really. This is the uh, Retivus or Retivus um, RT3S. So it's a dual band uh, DMR and um, FM handheld. Uh, same as the um, the uh, TYT MD UV380. So let's turn it on. I'll just go through the zones and the channels and just give you a rundown on uh, how this little puppy works. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, we'll um, we'll just look through the um, the zones that are in there. Now this will vary with your code plug. But uh, this one's got um, start from the top, so we've got South East Queensland FM. So we just use the up and down arrow keys to uh, get to this. So I'll just show you. Um, okay, so we'll let it go back. So green button is uh, enter, red button is uh, kind of exit. So uh, green button, then we scroll down to zone, click zone, zone list, and I'll we'll just arrow up. So I've got South East Queensland FM repeaters in there. Uh, I've got uh, DMR Simplex set up. Uh, Brandmeister. And VK DMR through the hotspot. Uh, I've also got cross, cross mode hotspot. So I can uh, cross mode from DMR to uh, System Fusion. And I've also got uh, the TGIF network, which is another DMR network. Okay, so we'll go up to the VKDMR network and then we hit the green button to go in there and the uh, number one button there on and what we see here is we've got two lines so the top line so there's two lines to the um, to the channel list so the top line is scrolling there so it's the bottom line so this one is uh, the top line is talk group 505 which is our calling talk group or call channel and the bottom one there is um, talk group 5 which is where the nets are on so you can just simply arrow up and down if we arrow down and we PTT we'll connect to talk group 5 and if we arrow up PTT we'll connect to talk group 505 so the channel selector is up here, up, up the top there. I've just got a stubby antenna on for indoor, indoor use. Uh, it's reasonably resonant on um, on 70 centimetres, not really resonant on 2 metres, so not very good. Uh, they're only a $2 Chinese copy of a diamond, so they're not very good quality, but they work well for inside. This is set to low power to uh, work on a hotspot, which is over there. So we get back to the radio. So channel changer here, so uh, I'll just flick it around and run the top line there so hopefully you can see that okay so we go to uh, that little scroll in a second and the 3809 is next and uh, 3801 right up to uh, 3808 in there I won't scroll through them all but you get the idea and the next line down we arrow down to that so the little D's pointing to that, and then we can go from talk group 5 to talk group 9 to all the different... Pretty much I've got time slot 2 up here, and time slot 1 down here. So that's how I've set this code plug up. Uh, but you can pretty much do what you like. The beauty of these radios is that um, I'm not sure how many uh, channels you can put in each zone, but it's certainly more than 16, which has been the case with... Uh, Radios like the MD380, the GD77, and so on. So um, much better in that respect. Uh, a good radio to operate. So you can see there I'm running low power here uh, for the hotspot. But you can uh, switch it on to high power, put on the, uh, the bigger antenna, and um, great little radio on FM. Works pretty good on FM. I'm able to trigger the local repeater from outside, not inside the shack. So that gives you a rundown of the um, of uh, that side of the code plug. If we go back here, we can go back into zone again, and we can uh, come up to Brandmeister, turn it on, 
and you can see there I've got um, top line I've got uh, 50591 TAC 310 235 UK as it L and just a bunch in there 31012 is the quad net array you can talk to the D star guys on that that's pretty cool and um, yeah 2350 UK 3100 yeah it's USA um, statewide and then the 38's in there so bottom line I got disconnect because uh, with Brandmeister um, sometimes you need to uh, to disconnect from the um, the talk group so uh, that's in there and I've got uh, the uh, 505 series in there so again you can put in each line whatever you like so um, so that's pretty good so switching between the two is um, it's pretty easy as you see and uh, works really well so what else have we got to show you so cross mode is set up in here we'll just show you that uh, both lines you'll notice are the same that's because um, DMOTA YSF uh, basically works on um, talk group 9 receive and transmit so that's pretty straightforward okay where else can we go uh, when you um, when you put the uh, the digital ID database into this radio via the code plug software um, if you just unplug the radio and turn it back on after you've done it you'll notice that the DMR IDs don't come up now that's an issue with um, with these radios and, the, and it took me a while to figure it out so I'm going to show you how to switch that on because you've got to load it uh, then reboot the radio then switch this on so we've got to go into utilities radio settings contacts CSV and you've got to select turn on green button make sure that comes up turns it on and then after that I'll just see if we can we'll go to Brandmeister because I've got a hotspot set up on Brandmeister and we'll go to talk group 91 well, that looks pretty quiet at the moment. Just... November, KB3, REI. Anybody else that's out there listening or can chuck in, good morning for KD0 USA. So you can see the uh, the contacts database in here is a bit old, so not everybody's in there. It carries 120,000. Uh, you do have to do a firmware change on this particular radio to achieve the 120,000. Uh, so you can see it comes up with a fair bit of information. So it comes up with a call sign, name, location. Uh, Trevor there's just got England, United Kingdom and a lot of people have their uh, their town in there as well, so most do. So we'll just see what comes up on the next one. A lot of people key up on talk group 91 and don't talk. So you can see it's got his name, uh, his town and his state. So not bad audio out of these. I hear you there, Mr. Trevor. G1 TDN, good morning there. You're doing a fine job. And, uh, I hear you. Yeah, so that's pretty good. So that gives you a bit of a rundown on it. Now, I'm not sure if there's anything else I can show you. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. So, side buttons. This side button here, the top one. I've got that set, I think, to monitor mode, yeah. So when you switch on monitor, 
it'll listen to uh, particularly for good for brandmeister because it'll listen to um, whatever talk groups you've keyed up either dynamic or static or both so it'll listen to all of those so currently it's um, listening to talk group 91 but if I uh, if I key up uh, 505 and a couple of others um, it'll stack them up and uh, when you press the monitor button it'll uh, listen to all of them and pick them up a bit like a scan device a scan feature I've never used scan so I don't know uh, about that um, so you can bung as many zones in there as you like um, I've got my local DMR repeater in here so we'll just have a look at that so again I've got 505 in the top line and then I've got time slot 1 talk groups on the bottom line so what else can we have a look at so if I'm going a bit fast there uh, FM, so I've got uh, South East Queensland FM, not many. I don't really use this uh, radio that much. I use it mainly for listening on Brandmeister. So I've got Simplex channels in there. It's just good to have uh, FM stuff in here because if you uh, need the radio in a bit of a hurry for an emergency type situation, you've got um, a few contacts in there. So we'll just use the channel changer. So I've got... Uh, uh, my local 2 meter repeater, 70 centimeter, uh, Kabulcha repeater, Redcliff. These are all fairly close to me. And then uh, we arrow down. I've got uh, simplex channels in there on 2 meters. That's it. So, yeah, all in all, these radios are awesome value for money. Absolutely fantastic. I bought it uh, when they first came out and I didn't really know whether it would be a um, let's get back on the Brandmeister yeah, I didn't really know what to expect I didn't know uh, much about them but they just looked like an MD380 so I thought well they've got to be coming out of a similar factory or even the same factory and I didn't really know the brand Retivus or Redivus. Um, I didn't know much about it. Let's look at the top of it. Uh, we've got um, the uh, the sides here, so um, we can get into the uh, external speaker and external mic jack, and it comes with a programming cable as well, which plugs in there. Then you know, over the other side, you've got um, two side buttons. I haven't programmed this one up, I don't think. Let's push it and see what happens. Maybe I have. Oh yes, I've programmed the power setting. So that's high power. don't know if you can see that up here. Yep, so you can switch power. So, good little PTT. It's a bit firm, but works okay. But yeah, I didn't know uh, what to expect with this radio. Um, I just decided to buy it. It was on a half price sale at the time um, when they uh, released them and I thought well for the money it landed here uh, it was a uh, good value uh, it cost me um, a bit over a hundred dollars landed at the time and I uh, really impressed the company gave me great service um, they were overloaded with orders at the time I bought it direct from uh, Redivus and um, yeah it came with the um, Australian uh, plug on the um, on the charger and the charger looks like a MD380 and a GD77 charger they all kind of look the same work the same so um, yeah I've tried this outside on DMR and local repeater the repeater's not far away uh, same as with the uh, FM repeaters and um, yeah it works great so I always get good audio reports on this and I like the receive audio I think that's um, that's really good, no one talking on talk group 91, I'll just key up and make sure I'm on it. But yeah, the receive audio as you heard before is uh, is pretty clear out of the um, out of the uh, internal speaker, so all in all a great little radio, so hopefully that's helped you um, just with a bit of a rundown on uh, how the radio um, basically operates so you've just got uh, volume and channel selector here that hasn't got a stopper 
that just rotates continuously on this one whereas on the MD380s that'll rotate to 16 and stop and you got to go back whereas this one uh, just continuously rotates um, but yeah good quality all the way nice uh, clear screen color screen as you can see so um, charge times not too bad you can charge this in a few hours from dead flat so yeah hopefully that's helped you if you've got one of my code plugs um, this will look familiar but if you build your own obviously you'll be able to customize it the way you want to have it looking but uh, yeah if you get a code plug off me um, say with a hotspot it'll look very similar to this uh, maybe not as many zones in there I might pull a few of those out when I send it to you but it'll have the basic stuff in there for your um, for your hotspot so uh, hopefully uh, that's helped you out these radios uh, at the time of recording um, sell for uh, uh, around 129 uh, Australian dollars and I think uh, value for money is uh, exceptional um, way better radio uh, than the MD380 in a lot of respects it's um, it's a newer version it's got newer firmware and um, yeah works really well alright guys thanks for watching 73's for now this is VK4NGA